As some of you may know, I did a video series called Dating in LA as an Introvert, which chronicled my shenanigans in the Los Angeles dating scene, or lack thereof. The last one left off with a group of my friends trying to set me up, in more ways than one. I opened Facebook to see how you would even change your relationship status, because mine has been hidden since college. I couldn't find it, and neither can Danny because she's technologically challenged. But somehow my phone gets passed to Ailish and Andrea, who figure out how to change it, and then change it to It's Complicated. What did you do? We were doing a social experiment and we were talking about single karma. When you're single unavailable, all of a sudden people want you. And everybody knows that. What do you Just, want us to say? What do you want us to say? You want us to say we're sorry, Rene? Because we're not. You know you need <laughs> Oh, no. How can we set you up on a date? No. You don't no. make room for possibility. We are trying to support make that you change. and you are making that difficult. Stop blocking your blessing. Man. How about this? Because I don't believe that this woman exists. Sure. Have at it. Try it. I dare you. Well, the stars were on my side because I moved across the country before they even got a chance to do so. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I'm in this new city. I know a couple people besides my coworkers, but not many. And above everything, I need some new song material. So I decided to join Tinder. Can't meet people sitting in the house, right? Not a fan of clubs because they're dark and loud and not suitable for conversation. And I'm pretty awkward around people I don't know. If I'm around my friends, cool it in the other side of the pillow. By myself in a sea full of strangers, I'm leaning against the wall with my phone in my hand. As for the dating apps, so far there's been a lot of swiping left. I know myself and I know what I want. And I'm selective, which to a certain extent is part self-preservation. I've seen friends and family members date and even marry people that they had no business being with. Some who knew it wouldn't work but did it anyway. Some who ignored the warnings of concerned loved ones because they just hating. And some who just wanted somebody to avoid being alone. As an introvert, I don't mind being alone. I like my me time. But as humans, we are meant to be in community with one another. And I do cherish relationships, platonic and otherwise. And ideally, I'd like to be married at some point while I'm still young, even though I'm 67 years old on the inside. But as I've said in previous videos, I'm a complete moron when it comes to dating. I love carpet. I love desk. Brick, are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? I love my Like I matched with all three women I swiped right on and asked me if I've reached out to any of them yet. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. But I know I have to push myself to do it because I learned a lot about myself and life when I put myself out there. Plus some really good tunes have come out of those situations, no pun intended. I can't lose my mind now, I should be happy for you. So if for nothing else, this will bode well for any future music that I write, and you guys will at least get one more video out of it. Famous last words of a fool. So we're a month in, and honestly, it's the worst. I force myself to check Tinder and Coffee Meets Bagel every day, and each time I die a little inside. I'm too much of an 80s baby to deal with this new age millennial bullcrap. I thought the pickings were slim in LA, but clearly I was mistaken. And I hate small talk, and that's literally what every chat's been about. So with that being said, delete, 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 I'm done. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Clearly I wasn't in my right mind when I thought this up because I should have learned the first time. Now I never say never, but yeah, I'll probably never do this again.